going on YouTube, it is Greg Lock Fitness here. And as you saw on that physique update, I'm looking a bit more full at the moment as I'm 84 kilograms. The goal's 90 kilograms. I want to get to at least 85, 86 by Christmas and then should hit 90 pretty quick after I hit 86 as I was a bit eating so much food. So as you saw then, I've got my pre-workout smoothie and now I'm going to take a scoop of pre-workout. Unfortunately, Dan Lock Fitness is not going to be featuring in this video as he needs a rest day. So I'm walking from the gym now. I've got two bananas, which I'm going to eat before I get into the gym. Then I'm going to have to buy some water as I've forgotten my water bottle. And then we'll get the training session on the go. Also today is my dad's birthday, so I just want to say happy 27th birthday. Hope you have a great day. Hopefully the cars aren't too loud. It's rush hour at the moment as I'm walking to the gym. So I mentioned this in a previous video description. I didn't actually make a video on this, but people may have wondered where the uploads were over summer. And over summer, I was basically living in a hospital for periods of time with my granddad, who's now passed away. He passed away at age 89 um, in hospital around his family. Unfortunately, I wasn't there, but the day before I was there, so that was special. Um, yeah, it's, it's all peaceful, but seeing the fight with cancer, it's not a nice thing. If any of you have seen that, you'll know what I mean. Especially when it's a, a, a vicious cancer. So we had prostate cancer and bladder cancer. The bladder cancer was the vicious, rare one. But you know what? I look back at his life and he accomplished everything he wanted to accomplish. And the way I see life nowadays is like a game of football. If you see 90 minutes as 90 years of life, come the 50th minute, if you're not happy with your performance, you can change that if you want to. So for you to change that, you need to think what needs to be in place and what you need to change. You could even make a plan at half time, make a plan at 45 years of your life, make a plan. Because let's say, we can live to 90 if you're healthy and you choose the right options. 90 years old isn't a massive target unless something like cancer does get you. But even then, that can be not prevented, but you can delay the onset and try to stop the cancer. So yeah, see it as a game of football. So if you are around that middle age and you do want to change, just put a plan together of how you want to change. I'm not sure how much workout footage I'll be able to get today as my tripod little, I forget the name of it, you know the little tripod, gorilla pod, has broken. The top's gone really loose on it, I'm not sure if I can super glue it or if I'll have to buy another one, but we'll see what happens. So going back, looking at the 90 minutes that my granddad lived, or 89 minutes let's say, as he was 89 if we're doing minutes as age, he accomplished basically everything that a human should want to accomplish. He had a family, he had many children, he travelled the world, he was in the navy. So there, loads of things straight away, he worked all of his life and he put food on the table and a roof over his children and wife's head. So he's 89 minutes, it was a strong 89 minutes. Just got to the gym, didn't get to any gym footage unfortunately. But I smashed out some shoulders and triceps. Tomorrow I'll get the gym footage, back and biceps. Hopefully Dan doesn't skip that day as well. You fucking prick. So I got a message from a German viewer called Thorben. He asked, can I give a few motivational words to his friend Christoph, who's um, got knee damage or something, ligament damage. And I think he's had surgery and he's getting back to his good old health. And he offered me, he offered to pay me for me to put this in the video. You don't need to pay anything, bro. Um, I hope you get better Christoph, mate. And get back in the gym, or get to the gym, if you haven't been to the gym before. Yeah, just keep positive. Surgery is a setback, not only in training, but in life as well. Right now, walking back. Gonna stop off in Sainsbury's probably, and get some food. Steak is on the menu. Probably with some brown rice or sweet potato or something like that. Also in, in future videos I will be looking into diet and all those other things. If you've got any video requests, 
just hit me up in the comments or inbox me and I'll smash some videos that you guys want to see as well. Hopefully in a future video as well you might see uh, the big Jordan Thomas back. Didn't come yesterday as he had a headache and all that malarkey. But I say a headache should not stop you from coming to the gym, Jordan. So get back in the gym mate and start coming every day, five days a week. Because if you really want to make a change, you have to stick to it and like I remember at school, I would say, oh, I can't go in, I've got a headache. But really, it's just just a headache or a, a cold or whatever. You can go in. Whereas, if you don't like something, change it. Like, if you don't like coming to the gym, change it. Do uh, home workouts or outdoor workouts. It's a place for everyone, by the way. Not just you, Jordan, mate. Um, yeah, change it. Like, it's, it's better to change something than excel in it. Rather than go, like, five... 1 out of 5. Instead of giving 10%, give 100% in something that you want. And I know Jordan really won't mind me mentioning that or saying that because he's someone and he knows it himself that he needs more motivation to change his physique because I know he really wants to change his physique. He just needs more motivation because it's not just going to change. Like, no one's going to do it for you. You've got to ask yourself, do you want to look like shit for the rest of your life? Or do you want to change? Because it's not hard to change, let's be honest, we saw these transformations, all drug free ones, and it's not hard to change, it's not hard to lose body fat. When I dropped out of school with anxiety problems in year 9, my dad said one thing, and it's one thing that stuck in my head, and it will always stick in my head whenever there's a problem, and that's, if you do have a problem, don't count on other people to change it for you, because you're the only person that can change the problem, that can fix the problem. So this is a steak that I've got. It's British beef rump steak and the rice that I'm going to have and two more bananas so let's get cooking alright so the steak's cooking now basically what I like to do is season it with salt and pepper and then oil the actual steak which is how you're supposed to do it you're not actually supposed to put oil in the pan first you're supposed to oil the steak I like mine sometimes I like it medium rare sometimes I like it smashed completely burnt well we'll see how it goes today I think I want a bit of a little bit of a bit of blood in it today. So I've cut the fat off as well. Well, you can't exactly cut all of the fat off as there's fat throughout the meat. But you know, cut the visible fat off. All right, so we've got the post-workout meal here. Added four slices of bread as well. And you can see how I've done the steak. Beautiful. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It has been Greg Lock Fitness.